Welcome to Perdido Key Gaming. Today we got some more Magic the Gathering. Um, in fact, we got an, another toolkit. You know I love these toolkits, just exploring them. No wrapper on this one because uh, I was in the middle of recording this and uh, somebody starts banging on the door. So I had already taken the wrapper off of it. But uh, anyway, so yeah, here's uh, this one's the Ammon Kit one. So circa. Was that uh, 2017? And of course, as usual, there is no art on these. That's only the bundles. And you got your handy, you know, build a deck thing because that's what these tool kits are about. Um, for beginners to, uh, you know, start building decks. I mean, you can take the cards from this, put them in those Planeswalker decks, things like that. Um, yeah, you got your uh, kind of box thingy. Oops. And then you got your four uh, four booster packs, which in this case are Ammon Kit, Oath of the Gatewatch, Kaladesh, and Aether Revolt. And uh, 125 randomized cards. That's the basic and a box. So I don't think these are as randomized as the old toolkits. Um, and of course you got your play the game things here. Oops, dropping everything, everything. But yeah, you got to, you're gonna have of course about 80 lands. And um, looks like the rares in this one because there are always kind of rares. Let me turn off that light. But the rares in here are from the Welcome Deck 2017, Victory's Herald on top there. We'll maybe take a look at those here in a little bit. Um, well, let's take a look right now and get that out of the way. Uh, like I said, there's probably enough, there's, you know, they never put a full, full play set in here. You never get four of a kind or anything like that, except for maybe these double lands. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, you have to, when you're building a deck out uh, monocolored or anything like that, you kind of got to, um, you know, reach into other other stuff to fill out your play set if you just think it deserves play set. But there's some, yeah, you got some, well, that's nice, uh, full art full art lands in this case, um, which are worth, you know, a quarter or something like that. So that's not too bad. And then some regular Kaladesh lands to help you with your land problem. And I'll put those over there. And obviously some more lands here. Land. Oh. Um, yeah, these are all just regular lands. And, uh, different, I think this, this one with a different kind of pull tab is the randomized selection. As much as that might be. So, you know, you got some evolving, you got some Amiket, Aether Revolt, Kaladesh, um, uh, never going to be anything crazy like a rare in here, so, you know, don't be too excited. But, uh, looks like plenty of stuff if you're building a modern or, uh, pioneer deck or, uh, something like that. Um, play set of Evolving Wilds, it looks like. So, yeah, that's the basics of that somehow semi so so yeah most most of the time the cards in these are going to be you know the toolkit rares and you know the welcome deck rares which um, yeah ain't going anywhere but you know you can still you can still build something around them nightmare Shivan dragon especially Shivan dragon 
I put out that one video of, um, showing my Shivan Dragon Pioneer deck, or a modern deck, uh, also Garuk's Horde, um, which is, uh, so then you go in your whites, your white cards, you know, it looks like we got some sort of flying, yeah, some sort of flying uh, white deck here. Flying white deck. Then uh, blues, looks like most of the creatures, nothing bluish, bluish. Well, there's bluish uh, negate, of course. And uh, malfunction, essence scatters, blue. Then go into your black cards, sun gear, vampire, gifted aetherborn. So you got your death touch, your mummies, your zombies, flying bats, and black destruction cards and black pull back from the grave cards. And your reds, they're always gonna be, you know, just uh, uh, bash them up cards for the most part. Hijack, fling, shock, shock. And then your green cards. So, like I said, you could probably, if you threw all these green cards in there, you know, you'd get an idea how, to, how it all works. And then some artifact. Renegade map helps. And then freighter and a crusher in case you want to explore that avenue. All right, so then we got uh, the boosters. I think it's right. That's the way it goes. Am I right? So, uh, the f yeah, so I, I mean, it's a uh, bit like I said, with these masterpieces. In the masterpieces, it's a, it's a freaking, there's, there's a chance. That's all I'm going to say. You're not going to really find, uh, probably find one. Um, but, yeah, it's worth a look, right? Oath of the Gatewatch, Expeditions, Kaladesh, um, and Revolt. We'll have the Inventions, possibly, and Amiket has the um, Abiket, and Hour of Devastation have the Invocations. So, yeah, there's, there's always a remote chance, right? So let's see if we can get a remote chance of uh, you know, finding something interesting. Both of the gate watch. I think we opened some of that before. Nothing really crazy. Um, this is the companion set to battle for Zendikar. Old Up Settlement, Blinding Drone, Kazalik's Pathfinder, Null Caller, Unity of Purpose. Weapons Trainer in the Ruins of Oran Reef. And a full art battle for Zendikar Land. Now for Kaladesh, of course, Kaladesh Eighth Revolt, the plane of Kaladesh with all of its inventions and the fair and uh, Tezret making trouble. He's building something, right? Was he building something for Nico Wallace? And of course, everybody's upset. We got a whole sort of rebellion thing going on. Renegades, right? Self assembler, tidy con conclusion, fabrication module, the minister of inquiries. Uh, do you know where the bathroom is? Um, armor crap judge, Sahili's artistry. And a forest in a play magic duels. Do, do, do. All right, Aether Revolt coming on the heels of Kaladesh. The revolt by the Renegades continues. The consulate's putting the man down. Alley Strangler, Unbridled Growth, Night Market Error, not Implement of Malice, Aegis Auditon, Countless Years Regan, Life Crafter's Gift. The Thopterous Enraged Giant, and uh, not a walking Matilda, but a walking Ballista, which I believe is a couple of bucks. And a Fountain and an Energy Token, which that was one thing with those two. You could get, uh, you know, you got energy and stuff, which that kind of acted like a, you know, counter thing. You collect enough energy, you're able to do stuff. 
Mammon kit, which, you know, a booster box of this climbing right the hell up. Cartouche of zeal, cartouche of solidarity, cartouche of knowledge. All right, give me the trials to go along with these. All right. Cursed Minotaur, Final Reward, Winds of Rebuke, The Binding Mummy, Dissenter's Deliverance, Time to Reflect, Censored, Honored Corrupt Captain, Curator of Mysteries, which used to be a buck, but there were so many in that, uh, so many that showed up in those, I think they're MJ Holdings boxes that, uh, I think I ended up with a couple of those, but since there's so many of them, and it was foil, this guy's worth probably a quarter. And I have four of Zier Remedies. Anyway, so that's it for uh, the uh, Amonkhet Toolkit, as you can see. You know, you got a wide variety of cards. You got some rares to fill in the blanks from the booster packs and everything. Walking Ballista, he ain't worth a... Uh, he ain't worth a quarter. He's, he's okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. If you like what you see, please hit like, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.